he was on to uh a donald uh, it's, sorry it's a um, jeff like jeff and david maxwell who are both like actors tv actors um apparently surely it was, was a big fan of like historical like historical based series um historical set series on on tv and she would watch a lot of those and um donald so wanted like to meet downton abbey was back then yeah kind of like that or robin hood okay. kind of stuff like any any of those kinds of ones um and pretty much like again donald was not exactly uh like kind in his requests it was pretty much like there was one yeah get maxwell kirch no good i will set house afire if you don't get maxwell so take care like it was constant threats and i don't know how the family dealt with it because it's like constant threats of this that this poltergeist trying to burn your house down this this was like a regular thing for like a year <laughs> like what <laughs> I don't know how you stay in this. I don't know how they go in, did not go insane. Um, well, and so, I, I mean, it, you don't go insane because the house never burns down. So you're like, this. It's this true. Um, I, I attempted. There were a couple. There were a couple. Yeah, there were a couple ten, attempted arsons uh, at the house. Um, uh, ghost arsons, spec, spectral arsons, uh, and so. But yeah, the house never ever burnt down or anything like this. But but the thing is, is like they had to actually take. Um, like Wally started to take like physical precautions to try and not let them burn the house down. Like when he would leave, like he'd unplug all of the electrical devices. He'd like turn off all the breakers to like the electric stove and stuff like that. Like all anything that could like be turned on, like the burners and the stove and stuff, he would take all that stuff offline when he left the house in the morning to go to work. Like the fact that you had, that's something extra that you have to think about and you have to take that is just, I I don't, I don't know how people would deal with that today. (laughs) You have to just deal with it. Um, so uh apparently on wednesday march 14th um one of one of wally's sisters nell who lived on lavender hill at the end of Wycliffe road invited um uh, she lived there with her husband bill and a, and a younger daughter um she had invited shirley to come stay with her for a short time uh because just to, you know kind of take the burden off or something kind of just be like okay help out but um so when they took um when they took Shirley, apparently the the morning that she was supposed to leave, the tapping had started uh in the morning at at her home, and then it ceased when Shirley left to go visit her aunt. Mm. But then <laughs> that points to it being tied to Shirley because like the second right, But she we've leaves... seen that. Yeah. We've seen that though. We saw that with Enfield. We saw it like they these poltergeists follow the person that they choose. They usually key on somebody and they go with them. They're but, attached uh, like a like a guard. It's a poltergeist. It's like, or, it's like I said, like a guardian yeah. angel. But it's a poltergeist. Everyone's got one. And it must have been I the know. case because uh, Nell did not did not tolerate this this these antics for very long. Because on Saturday morning she brought Shirley back, uh, or apparently Shirley was brought back in a police car. <laughs> <laughs> they sent her back. They just had had enough. They're just like no, nah, like, just get we've had get it. out. We've had it. They yeah. did. Um. Now the 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 case of the poltergeist like takes a lots of twists and turns because this is a very long this is a very twelve long, years it's twelve years like twelve the, fucking uh, years exp- this poor families and the things that happen are just like a ton of stuff that just happens little tiny events and little tiny things that start happening um uh some of the some of the bigger ones that happen is you had the one where uh there was a strange interaction that donald had um with chibbit chibs um on march 18th uh that uh, when Chibs came to visit him, apparently uh, he kind of the, the tapping had started sometime around midnight, and Chibbit decided to go ahead and que- since he was being active, he decided to, to question Donald about some things. And, and one of the responses he got was, "I will do harm to anyone who don't believe in flying saucers." Ooh, hmm. We're golden boys. There we go. <laughs> yep. Like um, so it, on on this you know on this topic uh, also. Chibs was a Chibs was also a member of the like the science fiction like a science fiction writing society in in Britain. He was like one of one of the yeah. more prominent Don't members. Don't say um, he was a um, uh, he was a fan of science fiction, and so this was might be something that guy picked up like while he had been there. Maybe the poltergeist had overheard him talking about it, perhaps. Um, but he got the idea that like this would be the perfect time to question you know this otherworldly entity about 
life on other planets and things like this. So he asked him the quit. He asked him a couple of questions. Like, uh, for instance, he asked him, does life similar to human beings exist on other planets? No, replied Donald. Um, but he did claim apparently that there were things up to eight feet tall out there and that life some of some sort existed on yeah, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Grandma Mercury, Ethel. and Pluto, <laughs> <laughs> but not on Venus what? or the moon. Well, it's funny. It like <laughs> instantly contradicts itself. It's like, does anything else live out there? No. Well, yes, <laughs> in this case. Is. Well, he said, does similar, does they're not does, like us. Yeah, he says similar to human they're beings. Octopuses. Yeah. Right. I does life so. similar to, to human beings exist on other planets? And it said, no. But it said other things live. There's other sorts oh, okay. of life on Jupiter, Mars, they're Saturn, octopuses. Mercury, and Pluto, but not Venus or the moon. Yeah. And then Chibs also asked Donald, like, where he came from himself and donald replied with i come from the atmosphere that's so weird and strange <laughs> from the atmosphere <laughs> yeah an air yes. bean um so you had these these things that um th th they were still trying to nail down exactly like what donald was apparently like what w w where he was from like what spirit he was if he was a person or things like this um you know what it, the weird thing for me is the weird thing for me is the questions and answers, does it not remind you of like all of us now have fucked with chat GPT? Does it not remind you of fucking answers? Like when you fucking ask and like an artificial intelligence stuff where you're just like, where it gives weird, <laughs> weird responses. You're like, okay, what, what was that? What's that? Like, that's what I kind of got so for this. And I'm like, Donald's uh, the first AI is what you're saying. Or maybe, or like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like it comes from the atmosphere. Like, maybe these things get to a point where they it's just like time is not existent to these things right like an in artificial intelligence uh so eventually they get to a point where Shirley had a friend over uh on the 19th of May and they they talked to the poltergeist Donald and they kind of try to figure out who he and ask him like who he really was his response was uh, was I am Donald in this age I am originally which is they interpret as originally uh it's spelled a-r-i-d-g-e-n-l-y uh louis 17th son of louis the 16th louis? of the house of louis mon lion ha. <laughs> i am louis i have two brothers named dewey and huey yeah <laughs> no but for real yeah, listen that's... donald yeah i'm telling you right now what does geist mean ghost polter Duck, goose. <laughs> all comes back to DuckTales, boys. That's true. It's fucking DuckTales. It it's fucking DuckTales. I'm telling you, Poltergeist, it's fucking Donald. Ducks, I'm seeing ducks everywhere. Duckburg. That's it. Cracked it. Over. Case file over. <laughs> um, so now, now Donald, who was now calling himself Louis, um, th there was a couple of facts they got. They managed to kind of nail down about the, the poltergeist, personal details, and it was that one, yeah, he was uh, born in 1798. Two, he had apparently drowned in the English Channel at the age of 15. Three, he had he he died before the french revolution for he was the first born son of the french king louis the 16th and queen marie antoinette and then five he cake. he was entitled to call himself louis the 17th not just you know sometimes he was donald sometimes he was louis um it gets a little mixed up at some points like sometimes he would <laughs> there, there is a point where there is regular correspondence by the ghost and i mean like there are notes being left around like in handwriting around the house uh that the family starts to discover mm. and kind of pick up and they would be signed either don donald and then sometimes it would be like louis and then sometimes it would be whatever so whatever personality i suppose was dominant that day that it was trying to uh sign out these things so it, 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 these correspondences a lot of them like i said this, we, we have almost we have a little more than a decade of an experience of, of all of this stuff that's going on you have um they range from the like psychotic ramblings of being like i'm going to burn the house down to tiny little tiny little niceties even about like you know they would wish everybody a happy new year or a merry christmas uh <laughs> yeah. he would send out christmas card correspondence to everybody and, yeah. and wally the weird thing is is that the family the family seemed to just take it 
in stride. They they eventually just became accustomed well, for fucking to fucking twelve this years. I mean, what are you going to be in terror for twelve years? Like, eventually you're just going to be like, I don't fucking but, care. But anymore. they would. But it, it, yeah, and it is like, hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in ten minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.